hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're wondering why am i talking to you on a voiceover is because i was shooting from a new camera for the first time and the audio was really shitty so i'm so sorry but today's intro and outro has to be a voiceover but i'm just basically telling you that this is my after gym shower routine and i have recently started going to gym and this is a very basic routine that i follow so yeah i'm just here to share it with you all and i also wanted to tell you that i have bought a lot of new products recently so there's going to be like a new body care haul coming soon but anyways let's get started with the video so i always start my routine with brushing my hair now i am not someone who gets like a lot of tangles or i face like a lot of tangly hair but um yeah this is just a preventative measure and it just makes my life so much easier if i brush before my shower and not after so i'm doing that and today was a hair wash day so i really need that scalp stimulation so that my hair grows faster and the scalp gets the blood circulation going on so I'm using this massager and i'm gently massaging my hair um my scalp and this just make sure the blood is you know flowing So for my first wash, I'm using this uh, anti-dandruff shampoo. It's Ketomac, I think, but I do go between like two or three anti-dandruff shampoos. This one was just what I was using that day. And I just take some of it and lather it on my scalp. I do not put that shampoo on my hair strands. I just use it for my scalp because it is an anti-dandruff shampoo. It's targeted towards scalp and scalp health. I then keep the shampoo on for 5 minutes and then I rinse it off and then I follow with my second shampoo and this one is going to be the Kerastase one. Now this one is really expensive and as much as I don't want to buy it again, the results that this shampoo has given me is incredible. Like it makes my hair so smooth and shiny and I think it has improved the overall health but it is damn expensive so i would not like want like yeah i mean it's a recommendation but i know not all of us can afford it and i also splurged on it on my visit to salon but i probably wouldn't get it again i probably would look for alternatives but yeah it's just a very nice shampoo and it's good to you know indulge in luxuries um I just love 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 this shampoo so much oh my god and yeah I just lather it on my scalp again I do not go in with my strands when I don't have like oil or a mask on and yeah I'm just washing that and then I go in with Kerastase mask I don't have the conditioner I use the mask and this one is the discipline one I guess and I only apply that mask um, on my bottom part of the hair like I don't go in on my scalp because this one can make your scalp really oily this is what the um person in the salon told me so i haven't put it on my scalp and then while that's on my hair i use a dove body scrub and i have so many dove body scrubs you guys because it's literally one of the best scrubs i've ever tried and um yeah i'm just using that all over my body and i make sure to scrub my underarms really really well because that's where all the bacteria and your deodorant builds up so you really want to scrub your underarms and then i go in lastly with my body wash and this one is the marshmallow one from triacle moon and it smells so good but unfortunately it's not that strong smelling that it lingers even after the shower so i really want to find like some kind of this marshmallowy smell which actually lasts long so if you don't like strong scents and you like sweeter scents like marshmallow ones you can definitely give this a try lastly i'm using we wash and you guys know i always use that now after i finish my shower i always always squeeze out as much water as i can um, with my hands and then i go in with a microfiber towel or a head wrap because of course you 
always want to use a microfiber towel on your hair and for my body lotion i love vaseline's coco glow it's such an og product and recently i collaborated with them and i was reminded of how gem of a product this one is so i'm using that all over my body it smells incredible and delicious and of course i love my body oil so this one is from pilgrim i believe now let's get started with my skincare routine the first step is to use a micellar water this one is from garnier this is a very very famous micellar water and i've used this since quite a few years now and it just does the job it's very gentle on my face and i do use bb cream a little bit before i go to the gym like um, just to hide like my dark circles and yeah just a little bit so to remove that i use this micellar water to remove any residue and then i go in with my og cetaphil gentle cleanser now this one is one of my favorites and again i also saw that alia but also uses this one and i was watching her video today on skincare her and her sisters so that was really great to know actually a dermatologist recommended and that's what my dermatologist recommended me and then i go in with a toner but usually i don't go in with the toner sometimes i do sometimes i don't so today i clearly was not in the mood to apply a toner so i went ahead with my serum and this one is again given to me by my dermatologist it has like azelaic acid and stuff which just lightens my dark spots because of acne and everything then this cream is absolutely amazing it's um derma cream something i will link it down below this one was also like given to me by my dermatologist and this one is amazing to repair that barrier and to soothe your skin and i've already emptied like three tubes of this one and this one also was mentioned in alia bhat's video and i was so surprised then of course i go in with sunscreen this one is the dot and key sunscreen it's very lightweight so i use the two finger rule apply it on my neck apply it on my face make sure you apply it everywhere on your ears as well but yeah spf is just a must these days you probably know that and you probably should apply it every day and that's i think the last step after that i think i go in with the lip balm and for my lip balm i also use the one which has spf i usually go um between this one and the sebum and one sebum and one is a clear one and this one has like a little tint to it so because i was doing this video i wanted to apply a tinted lip balm but i do love the sebum and uh, spf 30 lip balm really well as well i then use the l'oreal's absolute repair oil i take like 1.1 or 1.5 pumps and apply it all over my ends of my hair and i make sure i genuinely coat like every strand as much as i can and this just really helps to tame that frizz i literally sprayed this on myself and the camera wasn't recording so just for the sake of it i'm gonna hmm. i've already reviewed this on my channel before in my victoria secret haul video but for a little description this one smells so good it smells like petals like flowers and almond milk <sighs> it smells like flowers and almonds mixed together and it's so like creamy and i don't know flowery and light and girly and feminine kind of a smell mm -hmm. 